With more high-end cameras coming out at the moment, it's great to see that someone's fighting the corner of the budget user. Hi, I'm Matt Grayson, technical editor for eFotozine.tv, and today I'm taking a look at the KM from Pentax, the brand new camera to their lineup. The Pentax KM has 10.2 million pixel CCD, 5 point wide autofocus, and uh, runs at 3.5 frames per second, which it puts onto an SD or SDHC memory card. It also takes advantage of Pentax's uh, famous downsizing technology, uh, which means it's a much more compact body than you'd normally find uh, in, the, in the other two cameras. So here is the Pentax KM in close-up. I've had to move it a little bit closer to the camera so that you can see it closer, because it's uh, a bit smaller than the other uh, models that I've reviewed. Uh, this is fitted with the 100mm macro lens. Uh, if we look onto the top, You'll see the command dial is uh, on the right shoulder, along with basically everything else. There's nothing actually on the left-hand side, um, so it's not very good for left-hand users. Um, so the, the dial on the top here is designed for ease of use, and uh, that's a uh, that's a, a philosophy that uh, the KM has had going through it throughout. They, they've put a lot of technology into it that makes it a lot easier to use. Um, the auto mode, for instance, is an upgraded version. It now uh, it's got like a scene detection mode. So, for instance, if you're taking a picture of a person, it'll see the person in it and automatically switch it to portrait mode for you. Likewise with landscapes and so on. Um, you've still got your scene modes for if you want to override it yourself, as well as underneath here, you've got your quick use uh, portrait, landscape, macro, sports shot, night portraits and flash override. Above, you've got program, sensitivity priority, shutter and aperture priority and manual. Um, obviously with uh, shutter and aperture priority you control either the shutter or the aperture depending on the mode you're in and the camera will control the other one. Uh, with sensitivity priority you get to control the ISO, uh, film speed if you like, and uh, the camera will control everything else. Um, the button above is for choosing the aperture when you're in manual mode. The wheel on the back here will automatically change the uh, shutter speed and then when you want to do the aperture you hold the AV button down and it'll change the aperture instead. When you're in either shutter or aperture priority, the, uh, the button there is used for exposure compensation. An addition to the buttons is this one here, which is the help button. Now, when you're in one of your modes, pressing that will bring up um, a quick display on the screen there, telling you a, a little bit more in depth about what it's used for and what its advantages are. Uh, so that's a, a new feature there. And this is good for if you're a current compact user or a prosumer user, you're not quite sure of the features and you're wanting to move into DSLR uh, cameras, but you're not quite sure of what's what. That will just help you with the transition. Uh, which is a nice benefit. You can also um, dedicate that to different functions such as the uh, RAW button. Um, noticeably on the KM, uh, the RAW button is missing which is normally there on the uh, K200D and the K20D. So that can be designated to be a RAW access button if you want it to. 